the Lord determines who lives or dies. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of this video and I'm going to continue from there. But um, in this video, there was a assassin, uh, an assassination t attempt upon a, uh, a vice, a female vice president. Okay. So uh, just listen closely. Argentina's vice president has survived what appears to be an attempt to kill her. It was over in just a few moments as Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner was greeting supporters outside her home late Thursday. Suddenly, from among the crowd, a gun appears. The barrel pointed at her head, a click is heard, and the trigger, it seems, may have been pulled, but the weapon did not fire. The vice president was not hurt, but all of this playing out live on television. Right now, a suspect is in custody. General Stephen Mothman joins us now live from the region with more. So, just tell us exactly what happened here. What's the latest with the investigation? Yes, uh, John, uh, well, the latest is what we have seen uh, from uh, these uh, shocking images that were streamed, broadcasted live uh, on national TV in Argentina. You can see a man was able to get very close to Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, the vice president of Argentina, a former two-term president of the country, and uh, arguably the most famous political figure in the nation uh, at this uh, moment uh, and uh, draw a gun and pointing it literally at uh, no more than 20 centimeters uh, from uh, her face. The president of Argentina addressed the nation shortly afterwards to send a message of calm, of quietness, but, but also calling it uh, the most serious attack that the nation has faced. So it's exactly what happened here. What's the latest with you today? Suddenly, from among the crowd, a gun appears. The barrel pointed at her head, a click is heard, and the trigger, it seems, may have been pulled, but the weapon did not fire. So you heard that, right? He pulled the trigger, you heard a click, but not a single bullet came out that gun. You know why? Because the Lord controls who lives and who dies. Okay? So as you can see, it was not this woman's time to go. If the Lord wanted her to die, the Lord, the Lord would not have sent an angel to jam up that gun because that's exactly what happened. The guy, you know, the guy walked up on her. He attempted to pull out a gun and to shoot her right in the face. Okay. But I'm pretty sure the gun was loaded. Okay. If, if, if you was going to if you was going to um, kill somebody, you wouldn't just approach them with, with, with an empty gun. OK, I'm pretty sure the gun was loaded and, and he was attempting to kill her. OK, because um, they said that you could hear a click right after he pulled the trigger, but nothing came out. OK, nothing came out. Not a single bullet was, was discharged from the gun. Why? Because the Lord sent an angel to, 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 uh, to, to jam up the gun so that not a single bullet was discharged. So now if we come over here, right? 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So the Lord is the one who kills and who makes alive. Okay. Um, just real quick, what is that scripture? Let me go see if I can find it real quick. Bible. Ah, 
damn it, I misspelled that. Hold on. Psalms 68 and 20. Okay. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the Lord belong the issues from death. Okay. So that a hey, the Lord is the one who issues people's deaths. Okay, let's go to the second book of the law, chapter 32. I'll just type in one. Okay. And I'll just center F, type in kill. Okay, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Now, when the Lord said that there is no God with him, he wasn't saying that, you know, he was the only one up there sitting on the throne. Okay, Gino Jennings. Okay, that's not, that's not what the Lord was talking about. Like, like, like the Heavenly Father is the only, is the, uh, the only God up there. You know, like, come on. You tried to use this scripture to prove that that um that 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 uh, the son and the father are, are are the same. Nah, okay. When 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 the Most High said there is no God with me, meaning there is no power like the Most High. Okay, He is the Most High. Okay, there is no God like the Most High. Okay, because Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, He's a God. Okay, the angels are gods. Satan is a god. Okay. Okay, you got the angels on the left hand side. They're gods. So you got gods on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father and you got gods on the left hand side of the Heavenly Father. But the Heavenly Father is the ultimate God. And there is none like him. So that's what Deuteronomy 32 verse 39 is talking about when the Lord said that there is no God with me. Okay. The Israelite, the Israelite man is a God. Okay. We, we, are, we are angels that have fell from our first estate being trapped in these chains of darkness, which is what the, these, these bodies, the, these, the, this weak flesh. So Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39 it says see now that i even i am he and there is no god with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand okay so if the lord wanted this woman to die she would have died but it was not her time to go that's why the lord sent an angel to, to hold back the bullet that was inside that gun because it was not her time to go. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.